Good afternoon, Dustin Green here with Outlaw Fishing. Uh, just received a new order of Nomad DTX 125s, either the high speed, the deep diving. I uh, cannot wait to try these for albacore. These are the perfect size. I'm gonna rig up a couple of them real quick. So I'll show you how I do these anyway. Perfect for our albacore. I cannot wait. So I use about five, six feet of mono. So I just take a full arm length, which is about perfect for me. And then uh, I crimp my nine. So I've got the crimps that are already set for this size. I'm just going to put it on first. I come in from the top side, like so. Make a pretty small loop on these ones. I want it down, not touching the swivel, but within an eighth or so. And then for this one, I'm using 80 pound mono. So I'm going to be over the crimps for an 80 pound and I'm going to do the very last setting on my crimper. And I like to do a double crimp on those. Like that. And then I'm going to take this tag end and cut that off as flush as I possibly can. Like so. We've got just a little tiny bit of a tag there, if anything. And then I'm gonna test it, make sure it's we don't have any slippage. Yep, so we got a good good crimp on that one. And then here at the other end, we're gonna do the same thing, but just with a loop. And uh, I usually run a barrel swivel at the end of all my troll rods. That way I can just swip out, swap out the uh, phones or whatever I'm using. Uh, and I'll leave the loop on this end about three quarters of an inch or so, easy enough to grab and get on a, on the barrel swivel. And then we'll do another double crimp on these. Like so, and then I'll cut off that tag end again. Like so, we'll give that a good tug. Okay, so we got no slippage still have the bungees on them. That cut off. And there we are, rigged up and ready to roll for some albacore fishing this year. And I've got a few of them rigged up. I'll show you a quick picture of those. And I cannot wait to go give these a shot because like I said, these look like they are the perfect size color and shape for our fishery. Um, I also got some in this darker green color that I really, really like. I think that that's gonna kill. If it had a little bit more orange in it, it would be money, but I think these will still do some damage. So looking forward to uh, giving these a shot. And they actually switched these out this year. Now these don't have the troubles on them. They've got just the single side wash and I really like that. Um, but there you go. That's how I rig up my DTX mills.